Hello and welcome to a Neo Reading cast. Uh, this is a sample proof of concept. Uh, so, for your delectation today, we have uh, on the left Gordon, it's by Max, the punk rock fave at the moment, uh, and a scorer and gent, may I say, is Gordon. On the right, not quite so good as myself, as uh, Nero Hub. Uh, I actually chose to mulligan, um, and the game's underway. So, uh, it's a pretty straightforward first turn. For myself, uh, I sing both the important centrals. I'm taking the credit. Mac obviously does what Mac does. This is a knife and an eater. The first turn, and they job very nice. Uh, start good, uh, good economy. Match draw. Near a cut. Still on a remote. Bit of a misplay there from me. I did not do my NEH draw. I never play it. <laughs> Max is a keyhole. Liberating. On the remote. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it's always a snare. A really good pull. The snare damage. Hady Shard and the Shore Gamble and uh, Count Siphon. Punishing. And of course, the tag. Uh, Golden Clears the tag straight away. Probably wise. <laughs> and decides to pressure centrals, mate. Maybe race. And gets an agenda. So, no elite to Max. Uh, no rig of any no meaningful rig out yet. Um, or any cars whatsoever. But still the lead. R&D again. Now it could be Rez, keeps him out. Gordon looks for something. Deja vu might help. It is neater. That's what it needs. Okay, uh, crank your server with ice once again, failing to near earth draw. Considering responding to the ether threat. Maybe you should, I don't know. Wraparound's good ice against Eater. Strength 7 without Corroda on the board makes it not unreasonable. So a couple of credits and back to Gordon. Day job again, very nice. So he's got the money, that's for sure. See another snare in my hand there. Three in every deck, that's my motto. Quite a lot of deliberation. Centrals aren't exactly safe. There's no Christian grids in my deck, so responding to Eater is dangerous. Uh, no accessing doesn't mean no trouble. So, still in the row. Behind the ice and takes two credits. Max Punk Rocks. Losing two deja vus. That could be. That could be punishing. Uh, Knight. Very nice. Quick pressure. Yeah. And then runs the remote. Tough decision. You can definitely afford to get past whatever it is. 
not a lot of money for any H, so. He accesses a snare. The longer you take to think about resing, you know, the more you know they're going to access. Singularity, Spooned, and Deja Vu. So he's I think all three Deja Vu's now in the heap. I'm assuming that. Gordon has more tricks up his sleeve. And clears the tag and click four. Very wise. Managed to draw for NEH. Just three credits. Very poor. Needs to get the economy back up. Obviously, no ice to trash the night ice. Yeah, and the night moves away. I think that was my comment there. Keyhole, right, okay. This could be a problem. So, night beats wrap around for just two credits. Market research. I think gender on your first keyhole run. And he runs archives. Just do it. So that's three to nothing to Gordon. Definite threat over R&D now. Uh, I need to find a way to tax Gordon. Just make him pause for breath. Got data raving in hand. So it's my scenario to just trash the night. I think that's reasonable. Eater obviously still works perfectly well with Keyhole, but maybe uh, you can tax him on the way in. Wraparound's quite nice for taxing Eater actually, just because of the high strength. So Max is using the same old thing, so fair amount of recursion going in the bin. Makes a keyhole run. Deliberation, again money is very tight for NEH. Not that much better for Max, but any taxation would be good. And it is a data raven. It's almost all a court money. But Data Raven is good taxing ice for a run that doesn't want to take a tag. Go on deliberating whether to end the run or take the tag. No, he's going to end the run. True or very nice on unnice archives. For a fan, perfect solution to a data room. There it is. Kill again. Only one credit now. Not quite the taxation I had in mind. Another market research. So do you run archives? Maybe keyholes again. No Jackson's on the table. Got respect the one could be in hand. Especially against NBN, although it's in all all corps now, three of. And he runs archives, nothing else. But he is up five to nothing. Only one credit for NEH. Tough times. The keyhole is going to be hard to stop. Only one credit for Gordon as well, though. So. So it's a draw and click one. Obviously looking for some solution. Um, it's like a wrap around in hand. Good 
to the credit. Yeah, and the wraparounds. Trash to take Raven. Nullifies the Fem as well. For now. And uh, as I say, wraparounds not bad against Dita. Not ideal. So Max takes credit. Two credits. And keyholes. Not the same old thing going in the heap as well for Max. Uh, res wraparound, all money to res wraparound, two credits. Punishing. But the run ends because Gun doesn't have the credits to break it. So credit click for. So I managed to drop any, any H uh, with no money. It's going to have to be an economic turn. Three credits, max ten. Two wants and destructions go down the drain. It's got to be Jen's in hand. Eject. Nice. Just for one credit. But there's the same old thing. So he's finally got some recursion in hand. Plays Armitage. And uses Armitage twice by the way. So a good economy turn from Max. Definitely has the advantage at this point. On points as well as economy. Sweet tweak. <laughs> Slightly better. Considering uh, Max hit two snares, I wonder how long that's been in hand. He's got his recursion. Gordon has a good dig. Okay, uh, credit on click two. And an install for any H. That's Max's turn. Utopia shard. Oh, that's very nice. Uh, good HQ pressure without the need to run. Obviously, there's a lot of archives interaction for Max. Because of keyhole as well. Tommy again. Wants an instruction in hand. Definitely a threat. Corrode on the table might be good. Uh, in the heap, I thought it was that. It would be great to get on the table. Settle things down. Can't risk another snare, I suppose. And Armitage. Ah, this is in gender, breaking news, which means NH has one click the tag, so Scorched Earth is, it won't kill Gordon, but his stack's almost gone, maybe he's hoping, I was obviously hoping to uh, go with some good cards, one construction, that's good, to use to snares, so I forgot my fourth card, there it is, keyhole's kind of redundant at this point, he's only got one card left, but he annoyed Gordon, that's good, but the trash is his final card, he's only got one card in hand, no heap. Uh, no stack up was it? He still it doesn't have the same old thing on the table. Uh, it's a shame, and it's a good job we installed that on the previous turn because that easily could have been hit, and with no recursion that would have been. I mean, there's still a lot of pressure there, but could have advanced behind and then the run in a remote with abandon with no way to access. So final cards in your hand is played by Gordon. Stage job. So, a uh, lot of money coming in there. Um, and the same old thing, surely, for a levy next turn. Yeah. 
brief chat about the benefits of a Scorch, even when it doesn't kill. I uh, think I'm just going to play myself. It's uh, I'm obviously under a great bit of pressure and it's, it's hard to generate even any kind of scoring window, but I felt like it was a good play. Um, and Gordon agreed, but he's a, a gent, a very polite opponent. So, so small remote and uh, two cracks. So Max obviously doesn't trust to start turn, but immediately, same old thing for a levy. Got money for it. So the whole whole stack comes back into play. And he's got cards, a uh, five card hand, which is very nice. The feature of this game was that uh, Gordon would keyhole and repeatedly run on click four. It only occurred to me afterwards. Um, I seem to remember I had a too good to be true in my hand for most of the game. It would have been giving him an agenda point, but if I'd thrown that in archives earlier, when he keyholed, he would have stolen it on his last click and had a tag. So I could have done. I mean, I I, I believe by this point I had multiple scorches in hand. Obviously, I've just played one. Close counts, I think, earlier. Um, there were options. So, a bit of a misplay by, by me. Should have considered that. Um, and even here, actually, he runs on click four just to check I wasn't cheating, hoping for game. Even at, He's on five, so even a too good to be true there. Would have put him on match point, but having a tag for my entire turn would have been punishing. I don't have a great deal of money, but A bit of deliberation here. Obviously down four points, five to one. It's only new remote. I remember buying the extra. Good. Although uh, advancing, advancing both. Obviously, Gordon. I'm only on one point. Gordon has no reason really to pressure the remotes anyway. He's doing perfectly well from centrals. He's got a keyhole and an each on the table. It's expensive, but he can, he can keyhole. Uh, or a wanton destruction, that'll do too. So you can obviously break that for just two with the eater. He ran on click one. He's going to spend all three clicks then. So I'm going to lose three random cards in my hand. That's uh, very dangerous. He's got to expect Jen, isn't there as well? Have a quick look. Okay. Fresh Stephanie on. Go must be wondering what those remotes are. Although, to be honest, as I say, he probably doesn't care. So, uh, draw and click one, as well as the mandatory. It's all in archives. That's got to be a clue. But of course, Gun can't access without, not with what he has on the table, uh, assuming it's a non century end the run, because he can't access if he uses Eater. Uh, any kind of tricks, inside job. We know he's got Knight, Corroder if it's a barrier. Knight. R&D. Yeah, this was sold from. It's expensive to break with Eater, but he's only got to break it once. Wraparound goes in the bin. R&D is wide open. No access though, of course, because he used Eater. Good two is Keyhole. <laughs> too good to be true. So it won't win in the game archives, but obviously he only needs one more point in there. 
12, 12 to burst in. Although the fact that I asked Dark Archives gives away that his wanted instruction trust uh, agenda. So the game is in Archives. As I say, he, he can't get in with what's on the table anyway. Keyhole again, might as well. Sweep sweep, yeah, that's a good choice. Obviously, I'm in, in a bad economic position to have in the whole game. What with having to trash ice. Uh, for Knight and for Fem. <laughs> Kill again, clip four. <laughs> it's interesting. I guess he trashes an agenda immediately. I'm not sure what the priority is here. He could be consider trashing ice, but I can't really res ice. Maybe economy is the better decision. Um, Retrieval cost is nice as well. I actually, I like that card in this deck. Uh, as you can tell, it's obviously a heavy tag deck. So, I could play one of them and click one and win the side game. It's a bit of Sophie's choice of the runner. Um, they don't want to take a tag for sure, so they have to take the brain damage, and the brain damage against the kind of Scorch deck is really dangerous. Okay, immediately, Ice and R&D, two credits. So you need to pay to res it. So Corolla goes in the bin again for Max. Uh, not ideal. He's going to keyhole though. <laughs> this is all I got. It's only two to break with the Eater, so of course he goes in. Keyholes. A deal, there it is. So game's definitely in archives. He just needs to find a way of getting into archives. He's find what it is. Any kind of trickery inside jobs, Hades shards, I... I think he's got in this deck. I, I assume he has. I don't remember. Um, so he clears Armitage. Clicks two and three. Oops. Oh, he stalls an Armitage. Looks like he has a knight in hand, so he's obviously just saving up. So a new install and an NEH draw. So I learned, you know. Two credits. So a knight goes in the bin, but we can see he has one in hand and he stalls it straight away and click one. Trash to the fan, which is no longer useful. So he's hoping that's not a Jackson. He knights archives and runs archives. But that's it, he can get in. It wasn't a Jackson on the table. And you've got the bill. There was, as I say, there was uh, obviously too good to be true, and there's another bill in there as well. So we win seven to one. And just, <laughs> I guess I was hoping you might run it, but what can you say? So thanks for watching. Uh, it's been a proof of concept. I hope you liked it.